Welcome back to a new video. So I've redone this intro like five times because I've just delved into like too many specific topics that I don't think necessarily need to be dove into. But talk about the trending first. Briefly touch upon the other topic um, that's giving me some stress. And then we'll hit some training because I'm sufficiently cold cold now from not warming up or having warming up and then getting um, chilled out because I haven't been um, moving other than standing here and talking, which is obviously not the best warm up. But the goal today is actually going to be doing some snatch and clean and jerk and some snatch pulls if I feel, I mean, some clean pulls. If I feel good, I might do some more front squats, but I'm feeling really excited and motivated to train and just generally feeling good. So I kind of want to, you know, cook while the fire feels hot and at least try to do like 110, 140, something like that. If I can do a little bit more, that would be good. But um, I just feel good to train today. And I kind of want to, I don't just want to train light and uh, kind of waste the energy that I have today in a sense, because I feel like I can train pretty hard today. So I kind of want to do that. But the um, outside stressor that is, uh, I, I would say it's impacting training a little bit, but like, I feel like my training has been going well despite it. Um, there's, you know, just some unknowns related to my teaching job and stuff that will happen with it the next year. And I think that's pretty vague, but I kind of want to leave it there because I could talk for 20 minutes about it and get too specific about it. But essentially there's just unknowns with it and stress related to that unknown because I'm a very regimented and scheduled and, and uh, organized person generally. So when there's wrenches thrown into that kind of stuff, it makes uh, a higher impact than maybe for other people. But that's stuff that I, I really won't know. And once I know stuff about, you know, what next year might look like and different things related to that, I'll touch upon it once, you know, more is known. But that's, I think, the, the biggest stress right now is that there's a lot that we don't know. And uh, that's the part that I don't like when I don't know the, the, the next step of what's going to happen. What I do know is I'm still doing my master's this summer. That part will continue to happen. Um, and I will be trying to get my license renewed the next year, which isn't really that big of a stressful, stressful thing. It's just sending paperwork in. So that part is a foregone conclusion. As long as I'm, you know, still teaching and doing PDs and my graduate classes and all of that. But after 2025, my license, I'll have another five year license. So every five years you have to renew your license and there's, you know, a whole bunch of process in that, but that's, that's a neither, not really that big of a deal. Um, to do, which is something you just kind of have to pay attention to. But um, I'll be very happy once I have that, because then that will uh, not necessarily give me more options. But I don't really, uh, I don't really want to worry too much about that. And when you move to other places or do other things, then that becomes you know something you have to think about. So I'll kind of leave it there. I don't want to dive too much into that. But we're gonna some snatches. We're gonna some clean jerks. We're gonna some clean pulls. And if you see me clean, pull anything above like 250, then you need to bully me in the comments and say I'm not actually deloading because uh, there's no reason for me to ever do a, <laughs> do a heavy pull on a deload week. But if I feel good, I might also do some uh, front squats, maybe some back squats. We'll see how we're cooking. But I kind of kind of motivated to do front squats. And if I ever have that inkling of I kind of want to do some front squats, it's almost always a good idea for me to do them because it's uh, the most mentally difficult lift for me to do besides maybe uh, overhead squats. But Honestly, with how the snatch balances and stuff have been going, that's not so much the problem. But we'll war re warm up because I'm cold again. We'll get some music popping, and then hopefully I don't pop any joints out of place. I jinx myself. There's some wood I knocked on it, so we've we've taken out the bad demons. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. and I'm feeling excited, and it's a it's a nice feeling to have with the stress that I'm dealing with outside of you know, the training itself. Because most of the time in my life, if I've had those stressors it negatively impacts my ability to perform athletically. And I think that the, the biggest takeaway that I can give you and you can take is to communicate with other people, whether they can solve the problem, whether it's something that's known or unknown, just to communicate with people and just try to figure out, you know, what, what you can do and at the minimum, just to talk about things that are going on. Cause I think if I, if I was just dealing with this myself and not communicating with other people, then I think that uh, it would be having a much more negative impact. Because right now, you know, I've, I've talked to enough different people and communicated and like talked about the stress with it. That's like, there's not really anything I can do. And there's not like a, a stone that I've left unturned at this point. So I just have to wait and see. And uh, 
that's kind of that's kind of a crappy feeling if you have if you've never had it where you just kind of have to wait and you can't do anything until you till you know but with some snatches that part i do know with some plane jerks that part i do know and with some snatch pulls that part i do know what i don't know is if i'll do front squats but we'll find out later so i'll talk to you all at the end of the video peace <laughs> Well, that session went really well. Um, I'm really annoyed that I missed that first 140 jerk. So the um, technical thing that I was thinking about for both the snatches and for the cleans was to keep my arms long and relaxed, which is tricky to practice because what tends to happen, at least for me, is that I just move less aggressively. And that's the tricky part is keeping my arms loose, but still trying to get tightened up 
and to be aggressive and not just not you know just keeping your arms loosey goosey and then never using them obviously they become active as you're lifting the weight itself but once you get to that triple extension obviously it becomes active there for both the snatch and for the clean felt really good uh for the snatches i was really happy obviously got from 115 didn't have any misses and it felt weird the actual snatches because i felt like i was a little forward but when i was looking at the the clips of it it just looked like i wasn't jumping back really at all or that much um, compared to what i normally do so what i think was happening is that i was actually pulling it more vertically and that just felt weird because i don't typically do that as much or at least like it loops a little bit more so that's definitely something i want to continue to reinforce because i think technically it felt better it looked better and just like having you know a less aggressive arms or just having looser arms i think will just be better in general for just having a better pull and uh same thing for the cleans i was thinking about that which is a little bit more tricky because you definitely got to ooga booga the cleans a lot more and there's a lot less technique that's important but the cleans are feeling decent i definitely think i could have finished a bit better i felt like i was a little bit forward on all of them um and then the 140 jerk issue i had with that obviously i pushed it forward from like the technique but because i was more relaxed in the pool i took that <laughs> relaxation into the jerk and just wasn't like pure aggression in the dip drive so i just i got lazy essentially and pushed it forward the second one felt a lot better and then the 145 felt good um it's a little cleans are a little bit tricky with that because i definitely felt like the 145 was forward but it's also one of those days where i wasn't expecting to be super primed as far as you know my cleaning strength went so very happy with that and then the, the pulls are routine i went up to 175 for the double and now i'm going to do some band work and go in and try to make a uh actually it's going to be cheesy bread because I didn't get the uh, ingredients for the pizza sauce, but essentially pizza without the sauce. And what I've been doing, I experimented with making pizza, and then now I just make the dough and put the cheese on it. So just, I guess, cheesy bread, but then I make the sauce separate and then dip it in there. So it's, you know, the same ingredients, but I, I feel like the sauce just tastes better when I'm dipping it in, but maybe that's just me. But I'm excited to make some cheese, <laughs> make, some, make some cheesy bread and eat a bunch of that because uh, I've been thinking about that for, like half the session because I remember that I had the the dough sitting out from yesterday, um, so it's all risen up or at least it should be um, rose, risen. It should be risen for today. Oh, my phone's vibrating. I was hearing a fire alarm or um, not fire alarms but fire trucks and alarms and then my phone rings. But uh, very productive session. So I'm do the band work, go in, uh, make my cheesy bread, eat a uh, probably most of it if not all of it if I can. So I'm trying to get trying to get thick and big, but. Yeah, feel really good now. And that, you know, and I talked about, you know, some stuff being stress, stressful in the beginning of the day or the beginning of the session that led into this training and, and just, you know, past trainings. But as you see, like, because I've been proactive and like talking it out and trying to figure out things and just kind of, I guess, being more mature than I was five, six years ago or 10 years ago when I would train and get stressed and, you know, everything would go to crap. I think it's just a, a testament that when you, are aware that you are stressed and you kind of take that into account and try to take steps to help that and to do the little things like getting enough sleep and eating well and all of the other things, you know, that are important. Um, you can still train well. And I'm very happy with how this training session went to hit 115, 145, missed the 140, but you know, that's, I'd rather <laughs> it's weird, but it's like, I got too relaxed on it. So I, I'd rather it be like that than like I got too crazy and like threw it forward. So, um, it's a better miss in that sense, but, Definitely want to take this momentum into the next day. I'm kind of viewing tomorrow as probably me doing some push presses. I think that will be good. And then Thursday being like the last like day like this. And then Saturday being big Saturday and pretty routine training week, um, at least so far. But positive day. I'm going to go in, eat, do some shoulder stuff. You guys don't need to see. It's literally just going to be the band and me doing that and watching YouTube videos uh, <laughs> because that allows the time to go a bit faster. And it kind of keeps me... Uh, distracted so i end up doing more reps which will be good but anywho that's it for this one if you made it this far i appreciate it and i'll talk to you all in the next video peace